Hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. Today we're looking at a quite a clean fifth wheel. The thing is beautiful. It's a 2017 Northwood Arctic Fox 32-5M. It is a triple slide fifth wheel and it is in such good condition. We just took this thing in a couple hours ago. Haven't even cleaned it so but that's not that's all right you guys are gonna love the overall condition of this thing so let's start with the first four corners look we'll take a peek at the compartments and we'll jump inside nice big deep slide right here for your dinette now look how big that window is in the rear this is a double ac setup Got a slide topper for your bedroom slide, but there's not one for that kind of main slide back there. I think it's because the roof comes down a little bit. They just didn't have enough room to mount it. So we're gonna start with the compartments, but we are going to start with the weight, 16,500 pounds. She's pretty heavy, 2442 in terms of cargo. So what do you got, 13 and some change, dry. Now your first area right here, oh, did I unlock this? I can't remember if I did or not. Put you on pause. All right, your first compartment right here, now that it is unlocked, is a couple batteries. And you got your main storage right there, but we're gonna look at that from the other side. So up front, if you wanted to put a gin in, you could, but you have another little storage area up here, and it's where you got two of your levelers. Nice more right hitch up front. This is probably the worst decal of all of them. A Little bit of cracking starting to happen, but let me tell you, for something that's six model years old already, it is in impeccable condition. A couple propane tanks right there. And then your main storage area. Now this is accessible from both sides, as you can see the other door. A couple TV connections right there. You got a couple water lines hanging out. But look at that, insane, massive amount of storage. Let's show this. All right, moving on down. You'll see another jacket is a six point leveling system. So you got a mid, front, and rear. Power hookups right there. These stairs are pretty cool. They're almost like accordion style, and it's really, really sweet how they come out, and then they do just store right up in there. 32 5M. All right, your tires. Let's take a peek. I want to say, when I was talking to this guy yesterday, there's a couple tires that were about three years old and two tires that were new, and I don't see a dang date code on either of these. We'll double check the other side. So here's one of your rear slides. This does have a nice little random storage in it too. Now, not, of course, not accessible from the inside. You could probably make it, but I think there's like a TV right in this general area inside. I also love the siding on this. It's not dented, it is designed that way and it looks perfect. I don't, I can't find a dent on this thing. Maybe in the rear we'll find one. I don't even see one back here. Wire the backup camera, never camp alone, big old window. Let me show you the roof, I'll jump up there. Good looking roof up here. Nothing too crazy. Couple skylights. Got your main skylight for the kitchen. There's one in front of that AC up there for the bedroom. Two ACs, local TV antenna, little storage rack up here. Very nice. You know, it does look like there's enough room for that slide topper on this rear slide. Previous owner must have just taken it off. Fridge is located right there. You can see the exhaust, microwave exhaust. Oh, let's check these tires. 0819 on that good year so 2019 and then this one is 0819 also okay so maybe they were all replaced at once because they were good years on the other side too so a few years old as you can see dump station gray waste number one water heater should be a six or a ten gallon let's find out right now it is a well, of course I can't see it from my angle. 16 gallon, that's actually really nice. Combine the two that I thought. Power cord right there, it is a 50 amp. Then if you're a little bit taller, you can access this storage system. Look how tall up that goes in there. Not meant for me, I'm too short. 
other side of your storage, of course, and then your batteries. So that is the exterior. Let's go jump inside and see what the interior has to offer. So before we go in, I gotta show you these steps. It does have the latch in it right now, but you just push in, they go accordion style. Very cool, very solid too. All right, and you got your nice extended assist bar going in. This is what you see right when you walk in. I'm gonna go stand in front of that recliner and show you forward. I love this galley area, it is so cool. All right, so we're going to start in the first slide. So you got your entry door right there, fire extinguisher down below, your first main slide. Follow that crown molding, that's where you know your slide is. And that is a nice deep slide. That's at least three foot right there. You got a full dinette in here. That does also extend a little bit further if need be. Nice fireplace right there. A little bit of storage down below. Now one of those outdoor storages, it's probably behind that wall I'd assume. Check this out, I was looking up here and I saw that kind of mount and that thing will lift up, get to all your power cords, you can store stuff back there. One stuff down below. Very good use of the space for the TV. Ooh, a couple little chargers right there. That looks a little bit older than the coach, but your IV or IRV technologies. Now, of course, this is stage. We just took photos of it. <laughs> not your plants your fake wine your fake fruit it won't be in the coach just something to point out now i can't remember what was here initially on the floor plan it looks like it was just kind of two bucket seats but they took one out put a different kind of recliner in and then added this table not bad the good thing about this space as long as it fits back there when the slides are in you can put whatever you want nice big window with these shades We'll cover the whole window. It is just kind of nighttime shades or not necessarily daytime, but overhead storage if you're tall enough. I'll need a step ladder. All four of these are connected. All right, your next slide goes from that corner all the way down right under these lights to that corner right there. And you have eh, just about your full kitchen in here. I don't know. I want to say that this is was replaced also. It is a recliner. Usually, of course, you get sleepers in here. It was probably a two or three cushion couch, a smaller one right there. So technically, the only sleeping is in the bedroom in this coach. More storage, three of those. Now, I love this kitchen island. It looks pretty cool. It is a little accessible when the slides are in. I mean, it's not as bad as some of the islands I've seen in the business, but it's pretty nice. It does have a little secret storage right here. And then it does also have a little pop-up charging station, which I love. I'm so glad they're starting to put this more in more RVs. All right, here's my printout. $59,995 is our selling price. That is average retail. Sorry about that. My lady wanted to come in and get our all our cool detail and stuff. I told her to wait for the video to be done. All right, so there is our floor plan right there. Ooh, that's pretty bright. Let's move this see your uh highlighted area it gives you some tank sizes weights all that fun stuff you know just a little sales print out talking about the structure all right so right behind the island on the driver's side you do have your two-door reefer you have a little bit of a pantry space oven microwave of course and that is a convection microwave which is nice you usually don't get that with the oven good amount of storage moving around a lot of cool stuff over here i'll show you in a second your pantry oh wow that's so bright i'm sorry does they did put lights in each individual one which is kind of cool not mounted the best but they're there nice big deep drawer right there right in front of the fridge you have four drawers right here the bottom one being the deepest or the tallest i should say a little bit bigger fridge and as you can see with the slide out you have no problem accessing that fridge is so bright i'm sorry if i was tall enough i would shut that but i can't reach it. <laughs> all right microwave three burner gas stove top look how clean that is like i said we haven't even touched this yet you can tell by that a little bit 
real backsplash back there. Little baby storage for spices. And good area for pots, pans, and of course your power cord for that microwave. I got deep down on this, and then you got one more right there. Now, over here in front of the bathroom, you have your sink, a little bit more storage. And I don't know why, but I always freak out over good trash areas. Nothing there. You have magical door number one right when you walk in. You have an area to access a trash can right there. And it is right by the entry door. Makes it easy on you. Nice, big, dual bay metal sink. Look how big this one on the left is. Retracting faucet. A little bit of light reading material down there. A couple owners, manuals, fun stuff. And then your overhead storage right above all that. Nice. Three there. The one in the middle is massive. Comes out, goes a little bit deeper. And of course, one more to the right. And if you are taller than 5'9", five, 5'8", five, whatever the hell I am, you can't fit stuff up there too. All right, making our way back. Breaker box, bottom left. CO2 down below couple stairs that almost I don't know what's behind there probably an access point for text but and then on the wall fantastic fan controls light controls behind this door you have your awning controls slide controls water heater all that fun stuff now my biggest complaint about this coach is getting into the bathroom door opens out and makes it pretty tight on the stairway and it doesn't go any further so I just say open the bedroom turn her around got your bathroom this bathroom is fantastic not the biggest sink i've seen but that same corian tops in here kind of a hotel style with the mirror full-on medicine cabinet and look at the shower you ever want to just sit down while you take a shower the water hits you well now you can corian toilet and then linen closet Three shelves there, a couple drawers, fantastic fan bin in here too with the controls. Like I said, a little tight getting out. Open that, shut this, show you the bedroom. Bedroom is also on a slide, looks to be about two feet deep. It is, I'm pretty sure it's an air mattress, has a remote, so you should be able to firm it up and uh, soften it up. King bed, there is some storage under. Just a little bit, it's not very deep though. And then there is an AC directly in here and you can have it just blow out of all the vents. Cool this down real good. This one I can reach. Makes it so much brighter in here. We got a lot of storage in the bedroom. It is a little tight walking around the left side. Moving to the back. Some more storage right there. But then your full wall closet is very nice and you have that cedar line. You have hookups to the right. You have a hookups to the right for washer and dryer. Combo unit, of course. And then some shoe storage up above. So there you guys go. 2017 Northwood Arctic Fox 32-5M. Now I will, because we're about to take this down to our sales lot. I usually don't put slides in on these guys to show you, but I will on this guy. So I'll be right back. All right, bedroom slide is in, and let me tell you how long it took me to find the dang slide control for it on the ceiling. Pretty good area, though. Turning around here, as you can see, both our slides are in in the main living area, but you still can walk down. Still kind of turn around here, and I ain't the skinniest guy, but if you're skinny enough, you can't fit through there and kind of mosey onto the back if you need to get anything. Everything in the fridge is completely closed. You can't access the freezer and look at that design. Genius. But oven, microwave you can get to, stove top you can get to, sink you can get to, trash you can get to. Uh, something to point out. Let's step out, show you the outside. All closed up with the awning in too. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, 2017 Northwood Arctic Fox 32-5M triple slide. All my contact info will be at the bottom of the 
in the description plus a link to our website if you want to see some still photos and some more info and the brochure thank you so much for viewing hope you guys have a great day